off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends! Look how pretty she is! I just have to say, like I don't get to see her out in the sun or I haven't. I haven't taken her out in the sun for a little bit, but we have been out running errands yeah. and going to appointments today, right Ash? Yeah. Film what you got at Hobby Lobby just now. I got a lot of things. You got a lot of things, right? The favorite thing you got was a bead spinner. Yeah. Let me shut my door. I don't know how it all works. So you basically put your beads inside of it and then there's a string in here. And then you tie the string to your to the needle thingy and then and then you put the needle in here and so you spin it and then the beads just like you put it in and it just picks up the beads and then you can pull them down and just and then pull them down so it makes a bracelet faster yeah she's been wanting this and she wanted me to order it on Amazon but it was like $20 and how much did you get this one for 12 $12.99 it's the only thing that she, we all we both got at Hobby Lobby that wasn't on sale. Yeah, so just a handful of all the beads that you got. She got different sizes of beads this time, and she got little danglies, right? So just give them a handful. Look here, we'll just. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot. So There's a lot. These little so charms. she got these little charms to add. One per bracelet. These charms. These ones have a lot on there, which is really fun. Yeah. She can add those multiple per bracelet or just one per bracelet. They're really cute. And then these. And then these cute little heart beads. Right? They're all hearts. Yeah. They're cute. I already have these, but I wanted pink. You wanted pink. We have that in white. Uh, these are another one. Yeah, another little yeah. charm one. And then I got this. And then she got bigger beads. Smaller. Than the, smaller than the, yeah. clay, the wood beads, clay beads yeah. that you have. White ones like, and, and pink ones. And what else? Anyway, so we've been wandering around oh, Hobby yeah. Lobby. Yeah, different color of blue. Wandering around Hobby Lobby. I just got one sticker pack. Um, I didn't really find anything else that I wanted. I was looking for a little um, caddy to have at my couch or and or my bedside for my surgery. And I um, we need to get a basket and string. So we don't a basket to, and string for so what? So we don't have to walk up all the way. So if oh. you need something <laughs> and Kaylee is upstairs, I can, she can, she can put it up the basket in and then she can, she can go, carry it up and bring it to, you, so to me. So we don't have to like, you guys are lame, but you know, they do do that. They do, they've done that in the past. We've done it for kids. So I think we're going to go to Target really quick because I'm going to find a little caddy um, for my medicines and then I might buy some extra snacks to put in it for my surgery. It's coming up. And we're counting bored. I'm counting down the days. Um, that is correct. It is coming up very, very soon. And we're kind of bored right now anyway. Right, Ash? Yeah. So we're just going to go to Target. Um, Abby's at work. Kaylee is at home, but probably going to work here in the next couple hours. I think she's going right now. Is she? Yeah. Um, and then Chelsea just hangs out at home. Did she do her Starbucks run? Yes, Kaylee has to do a Starbucks run. Look at her. She just knows to open up my Fetch app and, and scan my rewards. It was funny because we went and got Ashley some pancakes this morning. We had a little bit of a snafu. Abby had a scan um, today and Ashley and Chelsea had one yesterday at the ultrasound place. We kind of, they finally have a kid round um, that they need people for. So afterward, um, well, in the middle of the, the scan, I had Ashley come with me because she, I accidentally double booked and had her therapy session I'm so um, mad at, you at the same that. time, but it was a virtual call, but I forgot that they they have zero reception in their building. Obviously it's ultrasound equipment, so they really want to cut down on any extra activity going on inside the building. And so I could not connect to her therapy call. And by the time I actually was able to get a message to her doctor, he was like, I literally don't have time. And he felt bad. Um, so I took her to McDonald's um, on our way after taking Abby to work and the lady um, I pulled up and had ordered and whatnot got her pancakes and a little drink for me and she was like no code for you 
And I was like, I know, I usually do. I just, you know, I didn't pull up the 20% off because she's like, yeah, the 20% off code. And I was like, yeah, okay. And she's like, and I said, I don't want to take your time. And she was like, no, no, let's do it. Pull up, you know, open up the code. And she was like, oh, uh, also pull up like the discount. And I'm like, how many can you do at once? I didn't know you could do more more at once. Battery's flashing. Hang on one second. Anyway, so I was like, okay, her, I'll hurry and pull up the code. And she's like, but wait, don't do your 20% off code right now. Don't do that one first. And I was like, oh. I'm upset. I said, you can only use one code. And she said, no, no. She's like, I feel bad that you don't know this because she knows that I'm a regular. And she was like, use your earn point reward code first before you redeem any discount code. Why and I was saying? like, why are you just telling me this now? She's also a worker. Why is she I know. And she was like, stuff? you didn't know that? And I was, she's like, you want to earn the full point value on your total before you earn your dis before you take your discount off and I was like honey I was like she was like I felt so bad she was like you haven't been doing that and I was like she's like you haven't been like maximizing your point value so then we joked and I was like and she was like so she you know was kind of joking with me and Ashley and and she because Ashley was kind of rolling her eyes yeah. at me like oh we always got to get our discount and I told the lady, and I said, you know what? That's what my kids have done for years. And they're like, oh, mom's got to get her discount. Mom's got to scan her receipt. We, we do. We But yeah. I will say that Kaylee and Abby, now that they have their own debit cards, their own money, their own cell phone number, they're now doing their own Target coupon discount. To be fair. They're, out, they're earning their own points. They're using their own Fetch apps to get their own points on Fetch. And they like try and steal my receipts now. And I'm like, uh-uh, honey. If yeah. you pay for it, you can have your receipt, but you're not taking any of my receipts. She got, she was gonna go, I think she like got you like something for when you got the Tesla. She got you something and she was like, don't tell mom. And then you had a pile of receipts here. And then she just started <laughs> scanning them. And then she's like, rad. That's <laughs> why I went to scan some receipts later that day. And they wouldn't work, that little twit. <laughs> They make fun of me, but then when they, so I told the lady at McDonald's, I was like, yeah, they didn't care when it was me spending my money and earning the points, but now that they're spending the money and they need the discounts and they need to earn points to get Amazon discount, Amazon gift cards, it's an all, it's an all new ball game. And, and she was like, yeah, that's very interesting. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of funny. So we're going to head to Target now. I looked at, um, cost, or at, Hobby Lobby and I did not find what I wanted. I don't want to spend a ton of money on it um, But I also kind of want to get some extra. I have some protein bars that I'm going to put into my little um, snack basket um, to eat in case I um, Need a bite to eat um, But I don't want like all dry snacks, you know, like I I'm already gonna have continence issues with all my medications and the anesthesia So it's like I can't eat too much that's gonna back me up. So I'm just gonna look around for a few extra little healthier snacks to keep me going in between my kids taking care of me. Yeah. Yeah, you you know that that's what you're gonna be doing, right? You already told us. She has one camp every day um, I don't think the week gonna... of my surgery, I'll probably but she's only gone for two hours. So you'll be back to help me. Look at the dollar spot come in on point. Look at this caddy. That's perfect. She wants me to get the beige one, but I think this I is cuter. Think, I think this is gonna go, like, I, th I think it's cute. I th yeah, it's cute, but I think you- It'll look good by my bed and by the couch. The couch is blue. It's, it's just a different shade of it. It's I weird. Think it, it's not your choice. Smart Alec. Okay, we've got quite a few things here. I'm trying to get my car to work. Okay, sure. I'll show you in the car. All right, so I didn't really find a ton of snacks, but I got ideas of what they had there for what I have at home. Uh, you know that's a shower caddy. That I'm gonna, yes, it is a shower caddy. But I got some yogurt um, raisins that sounded kind of good. And then I actually got some of these um, poppy drinks. They're the probiotics, and I think I'm gonna need that with the antibiotics that I'll be taking and the anesthesia. But then I also have wanted to try the Olipops, and so I got the cream soda flavor, and if I like that one, I might get a few of those for the first week. Can we do it now? You can have it. No, you're not having it now. Can we test? No, <laughs> it's my drink for after my surgery. It's not your drink. I do have a whole case of uh, sugar-free cream soda at home that I will use that week as well. 
I don't mean cream soda, I mean ginger ale. We have a whole case of ginger ale. I was gonna get some Sprite, um, cause I know I get a little nauseous the first day after, like, as I'm recovering from surgery. I've only had one other surgery before. Um, so I'm gonna save the cream sodas. Why do I keep saying cream sodas? Soda? It's ginger ale. Um, for myself as well. I just, I can't put them in the fridge or you guys are gonna start eating them. So I'm gonna put a sign on them to, you know, to not eat them, drink, drink them. But I am gonna go home and we're going to put together a little snack caddy and there's a little slot in that caddy that can make little compartments and that will be perfect for like my medications and whatnot. And then I'm gonna read through my whole list of instructions because I have to do things like like this week, I can't take any pain medications, I believe. I need to double check that because I had a really bad headache last night. Um, and so. <laughs> you can't take melatonin? Can't, no, I think I can take melatonin, but I can't take pain meds or Tylenol. I, I need to read up about all the requirements. And I need to see what day I need to do my like little HIPAA cleanse, shower cleansing thing. Um, I just need to like start honing in what days I need to do that kind of thing so that I can plan. It sounds strange to have to plan it, but like today they wanted me to do another scan next week and I was like, I don't know if I can on Monday because I need to do this. I think I need to do the cleansing thing and then I don't want to, anyway, it's just a thing. I'm going to go and look through my whole list and protocols that the doctor has given me and come and create a little schedule and whatnot so the others can help me with my medications. You want to go home? Yeah. You're done? Yeah. I want to do it. You want a bead for the rest of the day? Perfect. I feel like I've neglected you guys for the past couple hours because I've just been sitting here at my desk working on so many different things. I have been going through all of my paperwork for my surgery and I'm glad I did. And I'm glad that I actually organized all of my little um, things here in my bucket. Let me show you what I've got and then I'll explain why I'm glad that I started to organize it. So when I take like new types of medications or this scenario where it's like a little bit different, I'm gonna hang on to the instructions for the prescriptions just in case, but I don't need them like every single day. Um, and then here's the medications that I've got um, that I have to take every single day. Then I put three little bars, um, breakfast bars in here. Again, so you saw these and then the little yogurt bars or yogurt, bite, yogurt bites and the grams that Michelle sent us. That was super fun to get and this is just an easy snack. I'm gonna use the snacks for times where like I don't need a meal but like I don't wanna bother the kids to go have to get me something if I'm just kinda needing a nibbly. Um, they are gonna have to get my meals um, a few times a day but like this is just if I have a nibbly and or I need a uh, breakfast bar because I'm kinda feeling nauseous in the morning before they can bring me something. So. That's what I've got so far. But in the process of going through everything, I have actually created, you know me, a list. <laughs> a little notebook list. Um, and I'm going to set, as soon as I actually start taking medication, um, day of surgery, I will start to make actual alarms for each type of medicine. And I'm gonna name the alarm, take oxycodone. Take one, oxycodone and then it'll be set and then I'll make new alarms set for every day for you know X amount of time um, so that the alarm will go off and it'll tell me exactly what medication to take at that, that point um, and then my notebook will be able to like check it off and like write down the time let me show you all right this is a cute little notebook page I'm kind of covering, covering up some private information that I had written down um, but here is my cute little notebook page that I made. So I did this little sticker here and it says strut your stuff. And I just thought that was kind of perfect because I do want to strut my stuff. That's the whole point of this. And then this one, it says wild and free because the ladies are going to be wild and free. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of fun to just decorate and give myself like the, you know, confidence boost, um, as I'm going through this. But then I made a list of the medications that I'm going to be on and the time um, of day that I needed, you know, the, how often each day that I need to take them. The oxycodone is as needed. This um, GAB medication is probably my 
um, antibiotic and that has to be taken for 14 days, three times a day. Naproxen is a pain medication, once um, one pill two times a day with food, morning and night. Um, and then I will mark the time down as I take each one of those medications. That way the kids can come in and Jason can come in and say, you didn't mark that you took your naproxen or what naproxen, um, did you take it or did you snooze past the alarm? You know, I want to have like a double check, especially in the first like two to three days when I, I go loopy when I'm on oxycodone. I took it with all four of my kids and I refused to take it before when I left the hospital because I just always felt like I was going to drop my babies. <laughs> I already know that it makes me really loopy when I'm on that. So I know I'm not going to be able to manage this myself. Um, for the most part, Abby and Kaylee are going to be the ones in charge when Jason's not home. And so I, Abby is very meticulous. So I know she'll be able to help me with this as long as I create like an organization to it and, um, and a structure to it. And then Jason will be able to fill in at night um, when he's home. Literally, it's just for the few, first few days that I feel like I'm going to need the extra help. Um, what else have I been doing as I, but as I've been like taking all the medications out, making the lists, checking how often I have to take the medications, I realized that I am missing two medications or two prescriptions, if you will. And I've called the surgical center and the pharmacy and I've realized the HIPAA cleanse is not a prescription. Um, it actually is on hold on my CVS prescription list. And I was like, why is it on hold? So that's why I called the pharmacy and they were like, that's just over the counter. We can help show you where that is when you come down, but we don't have any other prescriptions for you. So I called the surgery back and they were like, yeah, you need, I think it's Bacterban. Was that? Yeah, Bacterban, which is just an antibiotic ointment, but I'm supposed to put that on and do the HIPAA cleanse four days before surgery. And I'm like, I'm not going to tell you how close I am to four days before surgery, but I'm very close to four days before surgery. And I was like, I have to do that on this date. And when I talked to the surgical center and they were like, you need to hurry and get that. So they re put that prescription in, um, today, right? Like a half hour ago. And they were like, you need to get that cause you need to take it on X day, um, and start that and do the HIPAA cleanse and all that kind of stuff. So I'm glad that I'm prepared and, and I, you know, I, this is who I am and I'm, and I'm so glad that I am because I literally could have gotten to the point where I wouldn't have had time and I could have risked, um, my surgery and that would have been so sad. So although, other than that, I've been on Marco Polo with my little sister on phone calls back and forth when I've been taking Abby to work and coming home and running errands and whatnot. I've been talking to my twin sister. Um, she's excited for me to have this surgery. I talked to my sister and my brother last night. So anyway, that's literally all I've done, um, since coming home. And Ashley has put all of her beads into little organized bins. And now she's kind of bored with that. So she wants to make cake pops, but I told her I will not go back to Target until these prescriptions have been called in and ready to pick up. Cause I've already gone to Target like four times this week and it's only Wednesday. Like I'm not doing it again. My arm is tired. <laughs> holding the camera. I also found a rice bowl in the freezer. Jason's supposed to take these to work and not go to the grocery store every day and get his lunch. So I ate it. <laughs> because I'm like, if he's not going to take it to work and have a healthy lunch, then I will eat it because I just didn't want to take the time to make myself a lunch. So I don't have anything on tap for the rest of the afternoon other than I might actually start working on the kids applications for their passports. Again, I'm organized to have a little fuller for everything. I might start filling those out and watch a show because I just want to chill and relax and enjoy a summer afternoon. <laughs>